Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Fred and today we're going to be going over three creative ways to use our brand new CRT emulator plugin. The first technique I want to show you guys is how to create your very own CRT textures. What we're basically going to be doing is taking some already existing textures, filtering them through the CRT emulator and getting in exchange some really unique looking texture files we can use and apply on future visuals. So this technique is going to work with any assets. Uh, you can go to YouTube and search for overlays and just have fun with it, play around with various types of overlays. Or if you want, you can check out our ESCO library. Uh, for this specific tutorial, I'm going to be using overlays from the ESCO toolbox. So yeah, here's the little texture we're going to be creating today. So uh, the original file was a 16 millimeter colored grain overlay from the ESCO toolbox. Nothing too fancy, um, just a grain texture. And I also tried this exact same technique on a distorted signal texture I downloaded from YouTube. So first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and create a new comp. Make sure it is 1920 by 1080 as uh, the CRT emulator is a pretty resource heavy plugin. So uh, you don't want it to be too high resolution and it doesn't really matter since we're going for that lo-fi ish um, kind of digital look. Now, once your overlay is imported in your timeline, you can go ahead and browse the various styles available in the CRT emulator. Uh, I'm gonna go with style one because that's just my personal favorite. Um, and now we can start to mess around with the settings, uh, tweak the resolution, the exposure. Uh, this is gonna depend from an overlay to another, uh, but I think uh, right now this looks pretty cool. Maybe add some sharpness, um, a little bit of glow too. Um, and as you can see, it already looks completely different from what we started with. Now, since I know I'm going to be using this overlay in future projects, I want it to look as clean as possible and I don't want these uh, distorted edges. So I just cropped it a little bit by like 2%. And just like that, we have a really unique looking texture overlay. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like on top of some random footage. We can try a few different blending modes. Um, screen looks pretty cool. Uh, definitely need to tone it down a bit. Um, maybe soft light. I like that one. Overlay looks really cool too. Um, so of course this is a pretty intense effect right now. We can tone it down a bit by lowering down the opacity. But as you can see, we have pretty much a an entire look off of a texture we already had on our hard drive, but it really wouldn't look the same if we were to use it without filtering it through the CRT emulator. If you like this look, you can check out the description down below. Uh, we will have a free download link to this exact same overlay we just created together. Next trick I want to show you guys is how to create a glitch transition effect off of some basic glitch overlays combined with the CRT emulator plugin. It's a technique I used in the CRT emulator promo for certain specific segments where I would glitch out um, the visuals according to the music. So first thing you want to do is segment out the section you want glitches applied on. Then uh, you're going to be able to choose a style from the CRT emulator plugin. Uh, I'm going to go with style 10 because that's the one I used for the CRT emulator promo and I know for a fact it's going to look great. Now we just wait for it to load. And um, as you can see, there is this blue tint effect all over the place. And that's because um, the style 10 applies a tint effect that allows you to change the color of the entire look. Now, for this specific example, I decided to um, take off the tint effect to get the original colors. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So um, just go to the CC2 layer, turn off the UN saturation colorize effect, and you're going to get those original colors back. Now we can jump in the plugin and have fun with the various settings. Uh, I'm going to tweak the exposure a little bit, maybe lower it down, um, maybe add some more vibrance so that the colors pop even more a little bit of sharpness uh, and always some glow because it just makes everything look better uh, now we can click the complete button so that it compiles everything and we're just going to need to trim up um, the section we originally cut 
So we could be done, but we're gonna spice things up even more and add some glitch overlays to the effect. So the special trick here is to filter both the, the original video and the glitch overlay through the CRT emulator. And the way we do that is to basically go back inside the pre-comp the CRT emulator made, which is called the CRT effect, and then go all the way down and drag our overlay under all the CRT effects created by the plugin, just like so. So now I'm just going to trim it so that it fits the length of the entire effect. So just like so, chop it like that, um, cut it here too, and then delete the remaining parts we don't need, like that. So now we can start to tweak the overlay uh, if needed. So this specific overlay is a little too dark uh, to my taste, so I'm just going to add a Lumetri effect and um, bump up the exposure a bit. So this is really going to depend on the overlay you're using and the look you're going for. Uh, but as you can see, mine was a little dark, so I'm going to lift up the shadows a bit. Uh, maybe try to match the color of my source video a bit better with the overlay so that it blends in nicely. So I think uh, that should work fine. Um, and the last thing we're going to need to do is to actually change the blending mode to something that fits um, our footage properly. So um, in this specific case, I think uh, either screen or add or even exclusion uh, would work pretty well. So I think I'm just going to stick with that one uh, in this specific case. Now, as you can see, uh, the effect is pretty much complete. We have a glitched out screen only for the selected area we wanted, and it looks really cool, really adds a lot of intensity, um, especially when you pair it with the right moments in a soundtrack. Now let's move on to the last technique I want to show you guys and it is how to get the most realistic CRT emulation when using the plugin. So I'm going to use this 3D Human asset uh, taken straight from the Tor Visuals pack and apply the style 1 to it. When we're dealing with tiny lines, I like to bump up the exposure quite a lot. Uh, the resolution is really going to depend from an asset to another. But with this slider, the higher the value, the bigger the pixels. So if that's what you're going for, you can do so. Uh, I'm going to leave it on the lower side because I want it to look sharp and high resolution as much as possible. I also like to turn up the vibrance quite a lot because it's going to give the colors a bit more pop. The rest is really subjective. You can add some sharpness, some glow, um, play with the noise levels. But um, other than that, I think we're good to go. So we can hit complete. And now I'm going to show you the little tips and tricks I discovered to make it look even more realistic. If you're using a white asset just like I am, you can go ahead and add a tint effect to it. CRT visuals usually have a tealish tint to them. Uh, so that's basically what we're trying to recreate. But as you can see, just by doing that, we are getting much closer to the retro look we're aiming for. The real game changer is going to be to add glow to the original layer we filtered through the plugin. By doing so, both the glow layer and the original assets are going to have the CRT textures baked in them. Just make sure you don't overdo it, uh, but with the right values, it's going to add a ton of realism as you can see here. The last thing I like to do is to go back into the main comp, add a adjustment layer and add another layer of glow on top of everything. I like to use deep glow because I feel like for this specific step, it works better. Uh, but if you don't have deep glow, you can use the standard After Effects glow and it'll work just the same. Oh, and um, I almost forgot, I always had some chromatic aberration. So uh, I use a free plugin called Quick Chromatic Aberration 2. And once again, I just feel like it makes it look more authentic. So these are the tweakings I always use when I'm working with CRT emulator. And the cool thing is these little tricks uh, are going to work on any kinds of assets uh, whenever you're trying to emulate CRT. Here's the exact same procedure applied on various kinds of assets. And as you can see, it looks just as good. If you haven't got your hands yet on the CRT emulator plugin, you can do so by clicking the first link in the description down below or heading over to asco.tv. That'll be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to comment it down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy editing, everyone.